an example of how the work done by a non-conservative force changes the mechanical energy of the system is seen here where a seven kilogram object with an initial velocity of 10 meters per second slides along a floor with a coefficient of friction of 0.4 until it comes to rest calculate the displacement of this object during the motion so we would start here by drawing a free body diagram for this object that shows that there is a force of gravity pulling the object downward the object is on a surface therefore there is a normal force acting upward from the surface and the object is moving to the right, so the friction force acts to the left to oppose the motion. We can calculate that force of gravity, the mass of the object multiplied by gravitational acceleration, which tells us that the force of gravity acting on this object is 68.6 newtons. That then allows us to calculate the frictional force that's acting on this object, that being the coefficient of friction multiplied by the normal force, coefficient given as 0 0.4, the normal force equal but opposite to gravity, in this case, 68.6, which tells us the friction force acting on this object is 27.44 Newtons. What this now allows us to do is it allows us to put into the formula the work done by the non-conservative force, which is equal to the object's change in mechanical energy. The only non-conservative force acting on this object is the friction force. So the work done by that is the friction force multiplied by the displacement of this object and the cosine of the angle between them where friction and motion are always opposite to each other. The change in the object's mechanical energy is it's the sum of its final mechanical energy, that being the potential and the kinetic final, minus the initial potential and kinetic energies where we can say here that our friction force we have calculated to be 27.44. The displacement is our unknown and cos of 180 we know is negative one. The final potential energy, just like the initial potential because this object has not changed its height relative to the ground is going to be zero. The final kinetic energy is also zero because this object comes to rest as stated in the question. The final potential energy is zero and the final kinetic energy, excuse me, the initial kinetic energy, one half mvi squared, where we can substitute in the mass that was given to us and the initial velocity of 10 squared. This allows us to solve for our unknown here, the unknown in this case being displacement, and we find that the displacement of this object is 12.76 meters. We will see that in a scenario like this, where the object is only moving horizontally, the change in mechanical energy is equal to the change in kinetic energy because this object has not either lifted up or been lowered. So the potential energy does not change. And once again, because there is only a single force acting on this object, the work done by the non-conservative force in this case is also the same as the work done by the net force which brings us to the work energy theorem, which tells us that the network is equal to this object's change in kinetic energy. Either way, you would reach the same answer. But what we have shown here is we have shown that by working on a system, this non-conservative force friction has changed the energy of the system where this object started out with a certain amount of kinetic energy as a result of its motion. It ends up being stationary, therefore not having any kinetic energy. And that means that energy has been removed from the system. And that energy was removed by what we call a non-conservative force. In this case, that force being friction.